I am Lisa Arvidsson, and I lead the custom conjugation team at Cell Signaling Technology. CST is dedicated to providing rigorously validated antibodies to the scientific community to help advance research. Spatial biology is a growing, fast-growing technology, and antibodies predominantly are at the heart of it. Leica Microsystems has a spatial platform called CellDive, which produces high-resolution single-cell images of various tissues. They had a need of conjugated antibodies, and CST was able to fill that need by providing a variety of conjugated antibodies. This allowed CST to showcase our portfolio and our high range quality of antibodies, uh, predominantly in a conjugated form. Hello, my name is Michael Smith, and I'm the Applications Manager for CellDive at Leica Microsystems. CellDive is Leica's premier uh, multiplex imaging solution, offering users the ability to image 60 plus biomarkers in human tissue, leveraging a simple and open workflow, automated imaging, and laboratory automation. Uh, we offer as part of our solution a list of over 350 antibodies validated for use with CellDive, but are constantly looking for ways to expand this list and make multiplex imaging studiers easier for our customers, and our collaboration with CST is important for achieving this mission. CST offers a wide range of rigorously IHC validated antibodies, as well as many commercially available diconjugated antibodies, which greatly simplifies the process. Turning to the poster, I'd like to offer some brief backgrounds on the kinds of problems that CellDive and other multiplex imaging users are trying to address in research and how uh, CellDive with antibodies from CST can reliably tackle those questions. Cancer is a major medical issue throughout the world. And while therapies such as surgery and radiation can be effective for cancer care, these often kill healthy cells and often fail to completely eliminate cancer cells. One recent promising development has been the deployment of immunotherapies, which use the body's own immune system to selectively kill cancer cells. However, using the right immunotherapy for each patient and developing new immunotherapies uh, to address various cancers is a challenge that relies on having a clear knowledge of the tumor microenvironment, or TME. Understanding the tumor microenvironment often takes the observation of many different biomarkers in a single experiment uh, to phenotype all the tissues and cell types. For that reason, multiplex imaging technologies like CellDive are important for addressing questions concerning the spatial organization of the TME. In this study, we're working with a panel of 30 biomarkers, all detected with antibodies available from CST. We applied this panel using the CellDive workflow to 12 full tissue or TMA slides. Uh, the general focus here is on immunotherapy targets as a broad proof of concept. Walking through figure one, in A, we can see a representative piece of tissue. Here, a mixed normal colon, colon adenocarcinoma tissue. Uh, CellDive's iterative staining process allows us to image four biomarkers at a time before selectively inactivating those dyes conjugated to the CST antibodies. From there, we stand with an additional four antibodies, image and activate, and continue in that general cycle until we've stained our entire panel. You can see a subset of those markers in 1B and 1D. We have a diverse set of biomarkers here, including basic cell identity markers like CD20 for B cells, as well as broader structural markers like SMA for epithelium, and the sodium potassium ATPase, or NAK, for cell membranes. Once we have these biomarkers revealed using CellDive, an image analysis workflow allows us to separate out and phenotype the cells in the tissue. Uh, and that data can be represented by what we see in 1C, which is a clustering diagram, where cells are separated into functional groups and identities using the biomarker positivities we uncover. You can see that this biomarker panel uncovered a wide range of immune cells belonging to both lymphoid and myeloid lineages, such as macrophages, macrophages, apologies, T cells, NKT cells, and various others. And D, you can see what this looks like in a live image. We can show a single FOV illuminated with the various biomarkers. We can use these positivities as a kind of visual code to phenotype the cells in the tissue. In E and F, we can see again a live view of this clustering analysis. In E, we show a single cluster, cluster 15, which contains cells of the myeloid lineage expressing CD8. In F, we see a view of several different clusters organized in that same view of the tissue, and we can appreciate the organization and diversity of cell types in this particular piece of tissue. Now, with that cluster data, we can perform an analysis known as dimensionality reduction. Uh, briefly, what we do is we take every cell in the analysis and assign it a dot. First, we group those cells or dots into a set of clusters based on biomarker positivities. Then we position those cells in their respective cluster with respect to other clusters in the plot. Uh, the shape is ultimately arbitrary, but the takeaway is that the more similar phenotypic clusters that share some biomarker positivities will be positioned closer together in the plot, and the more dissimilar clusters will be positioned further apart. Um, using an analysis like this allows us to take an unbiased look at how different cells relate to each other in terms of biomarker expression, but it is worth noting that this analysis doesn't correspond to physical distance between clusters. 
Uh, H is another way of depicting this data, with higher numbers in this table showing an increase in the featuring of the listed biomarker within the noted cluster. Now that we've gone through all the details, in Figure 2 we can sit back and enjoy some of the beautiful images that CST antibodies and the cell type workflow are able to create together. Uh, this is the rest of the tissue slides analyzed in this study, which span a wide range of cancer types. With cell dive, you have equal freedom to dive deep on a large single piece of tissue or go a bit broader with many smaller TMAs. Uh, what I find fascinating is the range of colors and patterns visible from a high level, showing the tremendous range in biomarker expression patterns across these tissues. What can be even more uh, dazzling is that that fine detailed analysis that we applied in Figure 1 can actually easily be replicated across each of these slides and tissues, and that offers an astonishing level of single cell information on the biomarker expression cell identities of cancer cells and uh, other cells. The level of detail is really only possible with excellent image quality, and a major part of high image quality depends on the antibodies used in the staining. Uh, to conclude, what we looked at in this poster is a 30 biomarker panel of CST antibodies on 12 slides of cancer tissues using the cell dive multiplex imaging workflow. We were able to identify and cluster cellular phenotypes with high precision with using this combined workflow. And what's more, is that uh, as our research interests change and grow, we can return to these tissues again and again using cell dive's tissue preserving technique. This allows us to increase the depth and complexity of the questions we're able to ask and resolve using multiplexed imaging.